I'm going to ask y'all the same question I asked the other day. I hope you don't get offended. But this is important. Would you rather be powerful or powerless? Again, I think it's pretty safe to assume that most of you guys are choose to be powerful. But what do you do to recognize your power? What do you do to claim your personal power? You know, the solar plexus chakra, you know, that's the center, the center, the seat of self. And you can't, you can't really uh, cultivate that without having individuality. You know, that's the self-center, the center of the self. And you have to have individuality. You know, your individuality, your uniqueness allows you to embrace and then express your personal power. And unfortunately, I feel like in this world where where we live, we're programmed to embrace things other than ourselves. And it's okay to like other people and like things that other people do or like something that somebody else wears. But when we 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 more often than not, you know, start losing ourselves and the ideal or ideals that other people impress upon us and we forget ourselves. And when you forget yourself, you start blocking your solar plexus chakra. And when you block that, you know, you start to lose confidence because you're striving to be something other than yourself. You know, you don't have no confidence in you are because you're so intrigued and and you know, engulfed in the image that other people are portraying and personifying the the confidence that they're portraying, you know, you're trying to embrace that and, and use their formula for your confidence and it doesn't work. You know, that's why a lot of people, they have everything in the world financially, but they don't have nothing inside. They don't have any self-worth because they've, they've, they've grabbed and grabbed and grabbed you know, clawing to reach these ideals and these personifications that are impressed upon them that as what's acceptable and what's needed and what's desired by society that they've achieved, you know, what society thought they should be, but they empty inside because their solar plexus chakra has, has balled up and, and been blocked and become shrank. You know, I don't I don't put much thought into the to the things I say. That's why you know, more often than not, I don't talk that long. You know, if something pop in my head and I feel it's useful for y'all, then I say it. You know, but I really don't care to be on camera all day or talking or presenting. That's that's not my my thing, man. But I, I feel like it'll be helpful to people. So I'm saying it now. You know, if you want to be powerful, if you want to be powerful, embrace yourself. Embrace the things that you value and you care about, you know, express yourself in ways that make you feel good about yourself. It doesn't matter so much what other people feel about how you dress or how you look or or your haircut or what's important to you. It's important, really important. If you really want to be powerful, it is really important that you start expressing yourself and being confident and who you are because your confidence comes from your solar plex chakra, the center of yourself. If you neglect to be yourself and embrace yourself, you'll never be powerful. You'll always be striving to be something more because you're always looking for validation outside of yourself. So I hope y'all found that useful. Remember, be yourself. Individuality. Is the seat of personal power in your solar plexus chakra. That's what gives you confidence. That's what gives you real swag. Not clothes, not jewelry, not cars, not females or all the dudes chasing you. You know, you got to have that confidence in yourself because you can have all those things and still feel empty inside because your solar plexus is blocked because you're not being who you're meant to be. You're not being yourself.